Hello, my name is Scott Krul, uh, CEO of 3 Dev, and I'm on the uh, second day of Embedded World uh, 2020 in Nuremberg. Uh, what I want to show you today is a Protect Lee firewall, uh, which was enabled with Intel Bootguard, but uh, interestingly this time we enabled that with Coreboot, which is open source firmware alternative to UFI. Uh, typically, um, to enable Intel Woodguard, you need you need special uh, proprietary tools, and this is typically done by um, independent BIOS vendors who do that under UFI. Uh, so this is a breaking through to support that in Coreboot, and we hope to contribute that to open source community. And what I want to show you here is um, is that first I will boot correctly to Linux operating system, then I will trigger. Uh, malicious firmware flashing, and then I will prove uh, that firmware detects that by displaying some some additional information uh, on the screen. So let's maybe start with the booting. So you see the splash screen of the Protectly. Whole firmware was developed by 3M Dev. Now we're booting Linux. And you can see that we are displaying some uh, information about the configuration of the system. So we can see that the MK UT is uh, the boot guard is set to on. So we have platform uh, with the boot guard enabled, and other MK capability uh, boot guard mode is verified boot. So it means that um, that we verify if um, if our firmware is signed. So what I will do right now, it will, I will trigger. Flash ROM, which is tool to flash uh, BIOS on core boot platforms, and so we can see that Flash ROM flashing some BIOS, and this is malicious BIOS, which is not signed by Protectly, because right now after enabling boot guard, all the BIOS have to be signed by by Protectly. And what you can see here is system error, which kind of say that uh, malicious firmware was um, or some corruption. Uh, appeared in in the spy flash, and what you can do right now, you can boot the system for 30 minutes to recover that system, uh, or otherwise it will just shut down. Um, so in our case, we just automated that process, and we will flash the well, flash the new firmware uh, just directly from from that point. So how this can help you? Um, this can help you in case of if your threat model is. Um, uh, risk of um, malicious modification of the BIOS. So someone may plant uh, some malware in your spy flash in your BIOS, and uh, up till now this was supported only on proprietary BIOS. And thanks to the support of Protect Three M Dev, was able to implement open source version, like open source support for Intel Bootguard uh, on their platform. Thank you very much.